Hey YouTube, this is Oscar uh, again with the Weekend Project. Today we're going to go ahead and uh, change the outer tie rod on this uh, 1998 uh, Honda Odyssey. Uh, so the first thing we're going to have to do is uh, jack up the car. Remember, play it safe. Use jack stands at all times. Uh, it is recommended to uh, do both uh, in Paris whenever you do change the uh, outer tie rods. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. We're gonna go into that. Remove the tire from the Odyssey here. Alright, so this is the uh, outer tie rod we're going to go ahead and change out. And here is the inner side. But our word today is here. So let's go ahead and get that uh, removed. Alright, guys, so I just want to take a moment to kind of show you the reason why we're changing the outer tie rod. Uh, when the tire was on, I normally check for any play. I put my hand on a 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock and shake it uh, back and forth to see if I, there's any movement. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the actual tie rod and I'm going to try to see if I could mirror any type of movement uh, that I can kind of show you. So let me go ahead and uh, see if I could get that duplicated. Alright, let's see if we could see this movement see that play that should not be happening I'm just moving it back and forth 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock that just tells me that the outer tie rod is worn out that's the reason why I'm going to go ahead and replace it All right. Alright guys, the next step, I mean, what I do, I put a little bit of PV Blaster on this nut and also on the crown nut, like so. I'll let it sit there for maybe uh, four or three minutes, just enough so it can saturate. So the next step, what we're going to do to get the tie rod in, there's a little nut here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and loosen that up. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and uh, put it inwards. Um, and the way we do that, we do that with the 19 millimeter wrench. So basically all I'm doing, I'm putting this 19 millimeter wrench on this nut like so. And I'm going to go ahead and use force to loosen it from the uh, auto control, the outer tie rod. You'll see, here we go. See that? Okay, perfect. Like so. So now, this nut is loose. That's gonna allow us to um, turn the outer uh, tie rod. So the next step, now that we have that loose, we're gonna go ahead and remove all right guys, so we're going to go ahead and remove the cotter pin, like so. And this is a 17 millimeter um, nut. See how easily that came out. And again, PB Blaster is the best. Just remember. Um, 
you have two options. You can either hit this uh, with the hammer or you can actually use a special tool. Uh, this is a kind of tie rod remover tool. Um, the way it works, you put it on the actual tie rod and we're going to go ahead and tighten it up. You want to definitely align it as much as you can. Let me see if I can give you a, a better picture here. Give me one second. Alright guys, this is a better picture of uh, using this uh, tie rod remover puller. So this is what we're going to do. Remember I mentioned make sure you line the actual uh, bolt to the actual tie rod. And we're going to go ahead and uh, just turn this evenly. Like so. And there you go. See how it just came out smoothly? That's what you want to do. Alright guys, so the next step is to actually remove the outer tie rod. You remember how we loosened this uh, back nut here? The reason why it was loose, so that way we're, it's going to allow us to uh, remove the outer tie rod. Now, keep in mind, you will need to do an alignment. And like always, it's recommended whenever you do any suspension work to uh, do an alignment on your vehicle. But I'm going to try to get this as close uh, aligned to how it is right now. Uh, normally what I do, I'm going to go ahead and turn this. Um, uh, at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and count how many turns I'm going to go ahead um, when it, once it comes off. So that way when I put the new one, I'm going to turn it back uh, however many turns I put it back on. Okay? So let's go ahead and count the turns. So that's one, two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen so basically nineteen turns um, and that's it's going to kind of give me a guide, so when I put the new one, I'm going to go ahead and do 19 turns. And again, it's not going to be 100% accurate, but at least it's going to let me just give me time to take it to the shop and get it aligned. All right? All right, guys, one more thing. This is actually the inner tie rod. Normally, um, since I'm here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and inspect it. Uh, I'm just going to pull it outwards to see if I hear any type of uh, clunking or anything. This is pretty good. Um, I don't really need to replace it. As you can see, it's still in good shape. But normally, you want to pull it outwards to see if you hear any clicking noises or anything like that. But this one is pretty good. So we're not even going to bother changing that one at this time. Okay? Just wanted to kind of give you guys heads up. Since you're doing all this work, double check it. If it's any clicky noise or if it's too much play just go ahead and uh, remove it but on this uh, vehicle it's pretty good um, so we're gonna go back here whenever you do change any part you definitely want to compare um, the old one with your new part as you can see this is a one I just took off and the new one basically if you put them side by side Looks pretty much, you know, same uh, width, same length. Also, um, you definitely want to make sure it's the right part as well. So this one looks, you know, similar. Of course, this is aftermarket; it's not uh, genuine uh, part. The good thing about this is that it does come with a uh, a new nut, a cotter pin. So that we can uh, use that in here. 
All right, let's go get them installed. All right, guys, this is a new um, auto tie rod came with new nuts. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the old one, like so. Just turn it all the way out. And this is the actual new one that came with it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tie it back here. As far back as I can. Alright, perfect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install the outer tie rod. Okay, to install the outer tie rod, we're just gonna go ahead and do the reverse uh, order like we did. We removed it. Remember, it was uh, 19 turns. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it here. So I'm gonna count this one turn, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay. The next step, see this nut at the top? I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of like tug it in a little bit, but I'm not going to tighten it yet. I have to uh, put the actual uh, tie rod there. Um, see how nice and stiff this one is? I'm going to go ahead and insert it to the knuckle. Like so, then I'm just gonna put it up a little bit. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and put back that tie rod. We're gonna put it knuckle back, and then we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up here. We're gonna go ahead and put back that castle nut, like so. I will go ahead and put the torques at the end of the video so that way you get a tie it back to specs. Okay guys, the torque spec on the uh, castle nut is going to be 32 uh, foot pounds. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and put the new cotter pin in, like so. And don't forget, we're going to go ahead and tighten this back nut as much as we can. Now the old, old nut was a 19 millimeter. Since we're installing this uh, this new one, this is actually a 21 uh, 
millimeter. So we're going to go ahead and just tie in it. The specs for this shows 40 foot pounds, but I really don't know how to actually do this one. But I'm just going to go ahead and give it a good tight. That should be, that should be it. Alright guys, hope you enjoy this video.